What's up everybody, Steve Fury here, and if you know me, you know I like to cook, and if you really know me, you know I like to cook Korean food, and today I'm cooking some Buk Gil Guk, which is a dried Pollock soup, also known as a hangover soup. Steve, why are you making this soup? I've been on a diet for a while, not gonna brag, but before that I got pretty drunk and blacked out, and I guess I knew I was gonna have a hangover, so I ordered this dried Pollock from Korea, and it just came today, a couple weeks later. Um, if anyone needs any dry pollock, I got it. Uh, ordered a pound something, I got dried pollock coming out my ass. So enjoy the video. If you're Korean, tell me if I did a good job. Peace, go Kings. Before I even get started, shout out to KoreanBapsang.com. Son, praise be to you. Without you, none of this would be possible. Your recipes are the shit. All right, that's the dried pollock. That's what one bag looks like. I got more where that came from. You soak it there for about 20 minutes in warm water. I cut up some tofu, some potatoes, missed a spot, some green onions, some garlic, and you wait, you let that boil. Then you're gonna saute a couple of these sesame oils. I took a picture because I forgot to take a video. One tablespoon of that. Saute it with your pollock to bring out the flavors. You keep that water, you're gonna need that for later. Here's that water again, baby. You need six cups of juice to make your broth. Then you're gonna throw that nasty old pollock in there. It's not nasty, it just tastes kind of like cat food. And then you're gonna put the potatoes, the garlic, the onions. I only put half the potatoes, I cut too much. You're gonna wait on the tofu and the green onions for later. I added the actual red onion, or these yellow onions, so white onions, so maybe that's my thing. Um, you're gonna wait for this stuff later, don't put that in. Oh, we already started that part of the video. Put that in there now, you're gonna let this boil. You should have had a boiling, I didn't. But it's okay. Then you're also gonna add some salt and pepper, folks. Do that to taste. Right over here, put in some soy sauce. Uh, this is a slow-mo little fuck reel of the tofu. That actually looks dope. Um, then you're gonna put some bean sprouts in there. Also, the recipe didn't say that, but I fuck with bean sprouts, dude. Like, heavy. Lastly, bust an egg in that bitch. That's what I would say about Korean food. They're always busting eggs in there, and I'm not mad at it. Uh, the reason I got into Korean food was because I bought an Instapot, and a lot of the best recipes were Korean. Some of my best things I make are japchae and yukgae jing, which is like a beef vegetable soup. Check out my shit, dog.